What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video, I've been kind of thinking about what I wanted to do because I kind of film videos and it takes a while to edit. So it's hard to keep up to date because I film about half and I get to the other half later. So I've been trying to think of what I want to do this video. So either I install a few parts on the 240 or I install a few parts on the new side by side. I've been waiting for parts for a long time now. So that's why it's taken a while to film this video because Amazon kind of screwed me a bit. I got a package, just came in today and it was five weeks late. Yesterday, I'm not even kidding, I called Amazon and I canceled it. I'm just like, you know what, give me a refund. I, it's five weeks late, I don't, want, I don't want it anymore. I went to the dealer, bought a brand new one, package came today. So I got a full refund and a new part. But yeah, so we got parts for this thing now. And if you guys remember from last video, this thing only goes in reverse. I figured out how to make it go through all the gears. You just gotta take this ratchet and then put it onto the shifter right there and then you can change the gears like that. And then I got a new battery for this thing because it was so hooped. I guess just sitting four years without turning on really messes with the battery. So here's the shifter cable. That hurts. I got the price down $20, but that's the shifter cable. We need that because this one, no good. And then we also got the clutch, the primary and the secondary clutch for this thing. So that's what we're gonna do. I've been able to drive this thing around and it's not super legal, but I got the side-by-side -side whip in kilometers down here so it definitely works and runs super mint but getting out to change the gears with the ratchet every single time it's really annoying so today at some point Emerson's gonna come over we're gonna install the shifter cable and the clutch kit and then I'm starting to collect a few other parts for this thing that'll be in a later video but this is more maintenance stuff and I'm getting some more fun stuff at a later date here's the one shifter cable this is the one I bought from the dealer here's the shifter cable that came five weeks late but I got it for free, so it's a spare. Apparently they break super easily because people slam it in and out of gear and that really messes with it. And then here's the clutch. So I paid almost $400 for this. And if you guys can tell, there's a white and a black spring. One's the primary, one's the secondary. Comes with a few weights and some bolts. I could probably find these springs in like the junkyard or something and it would do the exact same thing, but I guess it's just expensive when you get into these things. But you know what, I got it for free, so I don't think I could really complain. Tell me this isn't the coolest thing ever. So since I had my little test drive yesterday, I noticed a few things. When I was flying up and down the street, it has a really bad exhaust rattle. So I'm not sure if something just came loose or it's the heat shield. I'm banking on the heat shield. And also, I thought this thing was in limp mode because I was driving. All right, this is actually a good story. I'm gonna say it really quick because my videos are really long sometimes and I hate it and I'm sorry, thank you. Okay, so yesterday I was driving, got the new battery in. I'm in the front, gotta get it around. So I kind of get on the street and the thing has no mirrors. So I'm constantly shoulder checking, I'm trying to put the seatbelt on. The seatbelt's not going in, I don't know why. I'm like looking around, I'm like, screw the seatbelt. So I'm driving and it feels like I'm, I can only get up to like 16 kilometers an hour. That's probably like seven miles per hour. I don't know the conversion. So I'm driving, it's like vroom, 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 and I'm like, oh Jesus, this thing's in limp mode or something was wrong. And then I asked the guy who I got it from and he's like, dude, you gotta wear the seatbelt. I'm like, oh, the seatbelt. Moral of the story, wear the seatbelt. Honestly, I really like that feature because you can't have fun without the seatbelt on and you should always have your seatbelt on. So first, we're gonna install the clutch. And to do that, it's right here. This isn't like a normal car where the clutch is in between the motor and the transmission. This thing is called a CVT. It's on the side of the engine and the way that this one's set up, it's right there. So that's super easy. Not sure if it's like that on all of them. We're just gonna wanna take off all the bolts that go around here. I think there's about 10. And then it exposes what we gotta take out. <laughs> So this is the primary and this is the secondary clutch. These are both that we're gonna be changing. And the reason I'm changing them is because it kind of fixes a factory flaw that it has. The part gets hot and it expands and then it doesn't have as much clearance and then it starts to bind. So this is gonna hopefully fix it. And it's also a stronger spring rate. And it's gonna make this thing drive a lot more smooth and more responsive. Three, one, two. Oh, four, there was four right there. You guys can't see because it's really tough. Actually, you might be able to see, but it says, oh yeah, you can, Arctic Cat, and then there's arrows. Make sure that the arrows go that way. And then your spring is inside here. So now that we got all that off, we're gonna start with the secondary clutch. Once we get it done and installed, then we're gonna brake clean it because all the belt dust in here, like look at my finger. All that stuff can cause problems for your CVT. All right, so this is what I paid $300 for. So we got your primary, and this is a secondary spring. Then inside this bag, you got some little tiny weights. You got your main heavier weights. We got another big washer and then some hardware. Take this thing with the bolt side up. 
and now you have it on a little stand and then you put this thing on it that's your little block put a washer and then you're not now that's just a little bit ridiculous though don't you think So now you got this thing on here, tighten it up just a little bit. And once you take these off, then the pressure is gonna be holding down and then you slowly back this thing off and it comes up. That's the whole idea of this and instead of spending $100, I'm just doing this for free. Now. So that's the old spring and here's the new one. The new one's a little bit smaller, but it's definitely more stiff. Like I can compress that a little bit more. This one I can as much. This one's better for bigger tires, which I plan on getting eventually. And this one's more suited to my elevation. I don't know why it matters, but you enter your elevation and, and this is the one it said I should get. So this we're just gonna put into there. Then you just reinstall this guy. And it's basically the same thing, but backwards. I just put this thing on. Now we gotta try and take this one off. We got this thing off, the spring's off, and now this thing should move freely, but this is part of the problem that these things have. It gets seized in there, and you guys can see the heat scoring. So we need to somehow pry this thing out, and then you sand down the walls a bit, just to give it more clearance, and then you reinstall with the spring. After a little bit of messing around, I got this thing to move up, and it was pretty difficult, but you guys can really tell the heat scoring there, maybe. Obviously, it's really hard to tell on camera, but yeah, you can kind of see some heat scoring. So me just being me, I'm gonna try and grab some sandpaper, a medium grit, maybe like a three, 320 sounds like it'll work nice. I'm gonna use some of that and just get it to move freely because from factory, these things had an issue where they knew it was a problem, but instead of them fixing it and costing all that money, they'd rather just spend money in repairs down the road instead of stopping the assembly line and fixing the problem right then and there. But we're not gonna do the warranty on it because I wanna get the new clutch kit and honestly, it's not too bad just sanding it down. As you guys can tell, I'm wearing a new outfit. It took me two days to sand this, just because getting your finger inside there is so hard, and my fingers got sore, so I just called it quits yesterday. I came in here, probably put in about 45 minutes to an hour, and I got it doing this now. Ready? That's what you want, and from factory, not from factory, but like the way that factory did it, they had their clearances off, so after you ride it for a while, this top thing expands and then it seizes. Now I just gotta clean it because as you guys can tell, it's super yucky and gross everywhere. So I'm just gonna take it outside, break clean the shit out of it. And then all we gotta do is change these guys. So these things are called the flyweights. Basically, this is an adjustable flyweight system. So here's this new piece that goes in place of there. But as you guys can tell, there's a little hole there that's threaded and it comes with these. So they're multiple sizes and it comes with three bags because there's three flyweights. You got quarter, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarter and one inch. Then you go to your tire size and choose. So I have 26 and I need five eighths long. So we need the five eighths one. You grab your big long Allen key that it came with 
and then you thread it into there. And then you do that on all three. This is cool because if I ever decide I wanna get bigger tires, this system is capable of it. All I gotta do is change out which weights go in. So it's super easy, you barely even have to take this all apart. All you gotta do is take off that cover and they made it super simple by using this just to extract it. So I'm gonna set in the five eighths to each one. Then you just break this guy free and replace. This thing's fully assembled, we are ready to put it in. And then this thing's ready to go. All right, now that I got everything fully assembled, I think I might be able to start it. And I'm just gonna start it just to make sure I don't see any major issues. So everything's working fine. Now it's time to deal with this guy. So the one with the washer, this is the one that goes to the transmission. Then the one with the two jam nuts, that one goes up to the gear selector. Super hard to film in here. But I just got the cable, haven't tightened any of that stuff yet. But I just got it on there and then there's like a little C-clip. All right, I got this thing done. So it's not shifting in gears right now. I think that just might be because I'm not trying hard enough. I'm scared to snap the cable. Apparently they break fairly easily, so I just want to be as gentle as possible. But this thing is like fully assembled right now, minus the small little interior pieces. But this is really cool. So I'm just gonna sit inside, start it up. I need to sit inside because just in case if I try and start it and it's in gear, it's gonna slam either forward to the toolbox or backwards outside and we don't want either of that. Look at this. So now that I know this thing shifts gears, I'm just gonna put the whole interior back together just to get it looking nice and then I don't have to come back in here and do it after. All right, that was the first drive. Obviously, I can't drive too much because this is a public road and people do drive up here quite a bit. So that means I'm gonna have to get a trailer soon. But this thing is driving mint. Eventually, I'm gonna wanna get fenders because they got torn off and then I'll need a headlight at some point and then definitely some sort of lighting system up there. But all that stuff will be for a different video. I have a few things that I'm waiting to put on. I'm waiting for a few things to come in the mail, but once I get them, I'll film a video of me installing them. But they're gonna make this thing look so much better. But anyways, that's all the things I'm gonna be doing in today's video. I hope you guys really enjoy this new chapter of the channel because this is something that I've always wanted and I had the opportunity to get one and then now I want to share this part with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this stuff because it's a really nice break other than working on cars and Jeeps and stuff. Because like look at the doors on this thing. It's like a weird suicide. You don't get that stuff in cars. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Maybe even like the video too. Show your support. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you later.